All right, we are going to be focusing on shoulder mobility today. Is everyone comfortable sitting in the mermaid position? If not, you can do thread the needle in the child's pose position. So if you don't want to sit like this, you can come into a child's pose and then thread your arm through and stretch out your rotation in back of your shoulder like this. But if you're up for it, you're gonna be in the mermaid position with your right leg in front and your left leg in back. You're going to place your right palm on top of your left and place your hands down on the floor in a diagonal relationship with your right knee. And then you're going to rotate your chest and upper body toward the floor, trying to get your left shoulder down toward the floor. And you're gonna feel that stretch in the back of your right hip and the left shoulder. Yeah, you got it? And with each exhale, you're just trying to get your left shoulder closer to the floor without your fingertips sliding or your elbows bending. And then after your last exhale, switching sides. All right, so you're gonna have your left leg in front, your right leg behind. You're gonna have your left hand on top of your right, placing your hands down on the floor diagonally to your left knee. Now you're gonna try to rotate your upper body and bring your right shoulder down to the floor as best you can. And you wanna feel that stretch in the back of your left hip and the back of your right shoulder. And with each exhale, just trying to get deeper into the stretch. And then gently coming out of it. Oof. All right, from there, you're gonna bring your legs out in front of you and we're gonna go into row front. So you wanna be sitting right up on your sit bones. You can bend your knees if that's more comfortable. You're gonna have your elbows at your waist. You're going to extend your arms out in front of you, bring them down to the side of your body and then full circle around, stretching out the chest, keeping the length of the spine and then coming back to your home base position and repeating that. So arms come out in front, down to your sides, full front circle, stretching out the chest and the shoulders here, keeping the length of your spine, coming back to home base. And I'm just gonna repeat that. Remembering to breathe. Hopefully you're getting a nice stretch in the chest and the shoulders here. Do as many as you need. You wanna feel like your range of motion gets bigger. can always stop and rest and we'll catch up with you. I'm going to do a couple more. Excellent. Okay, nice. So from there, you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna come down onto your forearms. 
and you want to make sure that you are not sinking into your shoulders, right? You don't want to wear your shoulders like earrings. So you want to be active in the upper body and you want to look down toward your pubic bone. So you're working the front of your neck and then you're going to bring your legs up into a tabletop position and maintaining that nice upper body form. You're going to extend your legs out straight and as low as you can without losing that upper body form and then coming back into tabletop position and repeating that. So you're really working on opening up the chest and working the front of your neck, very important postural muscles. And then of course, you wanna make sure that you're breathing. You do wanna feel your glutes helping you as you extend your legs out. So it shouldn't feel like a thigh exercise. And you wanna do as many of these as you can. When you start to feel like you're compensating, you wanna stop and rest. So maybe you feel some strain in the back of your neck or you feel your lower back and it's okay to rest. We'll catch up with you. Remembering to use your breath you may be starting to feel a little bit of heat coming now. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a few more, I'm getting hot. <laughs> last one and then go ahead and rest so from there we're going to come onto all fours you can go ahead and have your feet flat feet in line with the back of your hips you want your pelvis over your knees long spine soft elbows so from here we're going to go into cat cow. So when you go into your cow, you want to feel your shoulder blades move away from your spine as you go into the flexion. And then on your inhale, as you go into your cow, you want to feel how your shoulder blades move toward the spine, trying to look up to the ceiling. And then you're going to repeat that. And you want to move with your breath. So exhale into your cat. Inhale into the cow. So we may be moving at different speeds and that's fine. You wanna move with your breath and you wanna feel the movement of your shoulder blades. Do as many of these as you need until you feel like you got some nice movement of the shoulders, your mobility has increased. And when you wanna rest, you can go into a child's pose and we will catch up with you. Really focusing on the movement of your shoulder blades today. I'm just gonna do a couple more. I feel like my shoulder blades are moving better. I've got better mobility. And then I'm gonna rest in child's pose. Just breathing naturally here. If you wanna stretch your lats and your shoulders, reach your arms above your head.
and then gently come out of that. Nice. So from there, we're going to go into a kneeling side bend. You want to have your legs all the way together. You want to feel your inner thigh booty deep ab connection on. You're going to bring your right arm up. You're going to side bend over to the left, trying not to move your pelvis. Reaching out your right fingertips, feeling the stretch all along the side of your back. Just breathing naturally. Just make sure you're not holding your breath and that you're keeping your chest facing forward. And then engaging your abs to come out of it. Switching sides. Left arm up, side bending over to your right. Check that your pelvis is staying level. Feeling your inner thigh booty deep ab connection on. Mmm, stretch should feel good. And then engage in your abs to come out of it. Nice. So from there, you're going to come back to sitting. And you want to have your feet pretty far away from your booty. And you're going to place your hands behind you, fingertips facing your booty. And then from here, you're going to push up into a reverse bridge, opening up your shoulders, really pushing up through your butt. Imagine that you could place a plate on your belly and it wouldn't fall into your lap. Right? You're trying to just really open up those hips. Try to get the butt up. Hold it for as long as you can and then rest when you get tired. So you definitely want to have your feet far away from your butt. Yeah, so that's going to give you more range of motion. Yes. And then you want to push up through the hips, trying to flatten out the front of the hips as best you can. So the shoulder mobility is a part of that, right? Got to keep those shoulders really open. Keep your feet far from the booty and try to open up those hips, holding it for as long as you can. Woo. And then resting down, yeah. And if you're up for it, you're gonna go again. If you wanna rest, that's fine. Do what's safe and right for your body. Should definitely feel that stretch in the shoulders. Ooh, lots of arm work. Oh my goodness, I'm feeling the heat. Who's hot? I'm hot. <laughs> One more time if you're up for it. If not, I'll catch up with you. Nice, good, all right. So from there, coming back into our quadruped position, we're gonna go into a plank. And then from the plank position, we're gonna sink the chest, have the shoulder blades come together and then push the shoulder blades away. And you're gonna repeat that. So you're moving the shoulder blades, you're not bending your elbows, the movement is small because you're just moving your shoulder blades and you want to do as many as you can and rest when you need to. So make sure you set yourself up in a nice plank position, feel your glutes, your abs, and then gently moving the shoulder blades in and out, trying to keep your head in line with your spine. Try not to bend the elbows trying just to move the shoulder blades. The movement will be small. And always rest when you need to. 
If you feel any lower back pain or neck pain, you definitely want to stop and rest. You shouldn't feel like you're straining your neck or your lower back. I'm going to do it one more time. Make sure that the plank feels really solid. Moving at a pace that you can control the movement. Feeling the shoulder blades moving in and out. Wow, I'm hot. Holy smokes. Who's ready for corpse pose? Okay, in corpse pose, yes. Ah. Uh. And we're going to finish by activating our parasympathetic nervous system. So you're going to inhale through your nose, hold your breath at the top for a couple of counts, exhale out your mouth longer than your inhale, and you want to do that at least three times. Here you go. And then that's it. You're done. That was good. Good work. Nicely done. Thank you. See you next time. Bye, beautiful. <laughs> Special shout out to my Vital 7 stars. Thank you for making this video possible. Are you ready for exclusive content, early access to content, and other perks? Join us on Patreon. Click on the link in the description of this post for more.